If there's one tip I could give anyone out there, not just for this mod, but for Skyrim in general, save often. I had to redo so, so much just now. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Oh, The owner okay. is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. <laughs> okay. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, I'll see you. I had to redo a ton of stuff because what happened was I fast traveled to Falkreath and my game crashed. Just immediately. So I had to redo everything after I left Bloodlit Throne. Which admittedly is not that nope. Sorry. terrible. It's Nothing. not that bad, but... It's always just like, oh, I gotta redo something. I don't want to. You know what I mean? Come but then when I fast traveled again this time, fire. everything was fine. And get the cold out. When I fast traveled here <laughs> after relaunching the game and everything, no issues at all. <laughs> oh, yes. They're laughing. Look alive, will ya? Hi. Good yes, morning. Mom. Well met. Well met, traveler. Have you come to wet a parched throat? Yes, but I'm also here on business. Anything I can help with? I have a small child and I'm looking for a suitable mount. Well, you've come to the right place. My brother, Paul Mathis, recently lost his daughter. Terrible shock to the whole town. I'm here to support him and Indara. The little girl had a pony. They asked me to find it a new home. If you can donate some coin towards a new headstone, the pony's yours. It's just around the corner, at the back of the farm. Sorry for the loss. Of course I'll donate a little something. Thank you, friend. It's much appreciated. You don't want a drink? Are you feeling all right? You want a drink? Seems uh, quite busy in here. Know what's going on? Bah. Imperial drunks who think they're above the law. On leave, I think. They've been drinking all day, bragging and hassling the women folk. I know some Thalmor are here too. Yeah. Special squad officers. There should be five of them. One of them has gone into the mountains with a detachment of troops to deal with some terrorists. I hope he returns At soon. The sooner they're gone, the better. Falkreath can get back to normal. Feels kind of edgy with all these soldiers no, here. I wish I could afford to pay like a tinderbox ready really to explode. Thanks, Matthias. Take this coin and give my condolences to your family. Hey, anytime, friend. Thanks for the generous donation. I'll take you to the pony. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Hundred gold, that's fair. Doesn't break the bank, but it's a nice sign of appreciation. Hey. Officer. Don't suppose you know where the man and girl is they're looking for? Me and the boys want to get reacquainted. <laughs> hell yeah. Put up one hell of a fight. Lucky for her she got away, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Mountain girl? Yeah, you do. The crazy lady lives in the mountains. This was harboring those terrorists. One of the first songs I ever learned. Had a bit of fun Ragnar. with her. Short bones. Handsome man in Falkreath. I've still got a necklace as a memento. I don't suppose you know anything about her, friend. Terrorist? No, crazy talk. Crazy talk. Hmm. I heard her family was killed by Imperial drunks. Friend. Yeah, well, she was resisting arrest, know what I mean? And they got in the way. She was a great-looking girl, but before she ran off into the trees, I managed to grab a necklace as a memento. So if you see her, let her know I've still got it and we're in town. Could use a bit of fun. <laughs> Although the fun was all ours, eh? <laughs> Come on, friend. I'll take you to the pony. Pony? This what kind of milk drinker scary. rides a pony? <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I love ponies. <laughs> keep going, Matthias. Keep going. Matthias, keep going. Just about done. <sighs> Hi, nothing to see here. Yes. By the eight. That's Rigmore's guardian. What? Who said that? I'll find you. Who said that? Who snitched? <laughs> You know what they say about snitches? It's that I have to watch where I swing this sword in this very, very crowded inn. I'm just trying to make sure I don't hit Matthias or anyone that is not an enemy. 
Oh, there's Matthias. Matthias, please don't walk through. Please don't just <laughs> walk on through right now. Same for you, barmaid. Wait, who's hiding in here? You! Oh, am I not supposed to fight him? No, I am. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is the marker pointing in here? Oof. <laughs> oh, the ragdoll. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was great. Angie's gold necklace. Hey, uh... Sure spoons. What are you doing pony time? Man in <laughs> like what are you doing that for? A handsome man in Valkyrie. They don't care that I just killed everyone. Soldiers. Sons and daughters of Valkyrie. Soldiers. Special op soldiers, or whatever they were called. They're like, yeah, I just want to get out of here. I just want to go about my life. I was told Donkey. Oh, it's probably because Donkey was, for whatever reason, a line or a word that the original voice actress for Angie had recorded. So they were able to fit that in with the uh, spliced together lines. Yes? Thank you for your help. I'm sorry that you had to see me murder a ton of people just now. Rigmor's Guardian. Who would have believed it? I take it you ran into the troops on the mountain. They won't be coming down anytime soon. So it was Angie's camp they were looking for. Don't worry, everybody around here knows about Angie. She's been quite the talk of the town recently, but we didn't know she had a child. Adopted. Yes, yes she does. A little girl. You take care of yourself now. I like Matthias. Matthias is good people. Come on, Pony. Yeah, that's right, Pony time. All right, back to Sorella, back to Angie, back to Sigun. It's time to get going. Everything is prepared. We can leave when you're ready. I take it you know where we're going. What's the plan? Well, I just murdered a ton of people, so uh Huh? <laughs> we should probably get going soon. We stay together, and if there's any problems on the way, remain mounted and leave it to me. Understood. I know this must be hard for you. We don't have much choice now, do we? Angie, there's something else. What is it? Actually, again, wait, 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 wait. Angie, I have something to tell you. What? Ah, forget about it. I'll tell you another time. Why? Ah, uh, it can wait. You ready to move out? Let's go. Everyone, mount up. It'd be funny if she was like, no, tell me. You brought it up. What do you mean, it can wait? So, Sorella's pony, we need to get her a, a saddle for her pony, otherwise that's gonna suck. Alright, everybody, get on. Everybody? Everybody? Get there, you alright, one at a time. Now, now Sigun. Now Sigun. There we go. There we go. No, Sigun. Yeah, you did it. Alright, now... Now we can ride for the homestead. Alright, we made it. I did fast travel from Angie's to Riften just in the interest of time, and when I did, everyone... lost their horse. Hey, where's Sorella? Uh, Sorella? Oh, no. Sorella? Oh, there she is. Woo! Okay. We're fine. We're good. Well, welcome home. You might need to walk around that thing. Don't mind me. What was that? What was what? Where'd Angie go? Who's Angie fighting? Uh, What's out I there? No sign of it. What's out there? What was it? I want to see. Did you kill it? Is it dead? What was it? I don't know. Probably just a skeever or something, let's be real. Probably freaked out over a skeever. 
Well, welcome to your new little home. This is way better than I would have, uh, done. If it was up to me, I would have just shoved all of you in Bree's home. This is my room. She just points to the living room. Yes? Remember, composure and speed. You don't need to see you your okay? arrow hit before moving on to your next target. Do I need Trust a way for them is true. to do something? Yeah, just check out the farmhouse. Ooh, potions. Here we go. And before I do anything else, I will need to go and do a potion run. Probably should have gotten them while I was in This Falk isn't Reef. so bad. Maybe it could use a little decoration. Gah, it has potential. I'll take a look out back. Dragonborn, when you're done here, come see me outside. I want to talk. Okay. I'll find her, don't worry, Sigun. I'll find her. I don't know why I remember there being an upstairs. For some reason, I thought there was an Need upstairs something? section. But I guess I'm misremembering. Ooh, here we go. Potions. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you're already tidying up. Sigun, you don't have to do that. No. Well met. Thanks, Sigun. I don't think I could have done this without your help. I will need to tidy this place up. Do you oh, have yeah. any gold? There you go. She's tidying it up. Uh, yes, here, take this. I'll be gone for a while, but I'll be back as soon as I can. Great, thanks. I'll take a trip to Riften and buy some things for the place while you're gone. Alright, please be careful. I would like if they told you how much gold they were going to take anytime something like that comes up. Hmm? Hey, Sorella. Everything okay? How do you like the farm? This is going to be mine and Rigmore's room. No, oh, I'm going to sleep in the basement. Gotcha. Cool, thanks. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what Angie wants. <clears throat> Angie, where's your horse? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's good. We can grow our own crops and possibly get some livestock, chickens. It will do until it's safe to return home into the mountains. You wanted to talk? Back at the camp, you wanted to talk about something. That there was something else, but it could wait? Angie, I found this. I believe it belongs to you. My necklace? Where did you... Oh, no. Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Those bastards! They're dead. What? How? Those bastards are dead. Your family can rest in peace now. Don't tell anyone, please. I... You have nothing to hide, nothing to feel ashamed about. It's over. It will never be over. And once this is all over, I shall be going home and Sorella is coming with me. And no one had better try to stop us. You know, a, a thank you. A thank you would have sufficed, Angie. You're welcome. Oh, 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 you're welcome. That's all I have to say about it. Locate Jaunty Malisum. Oh, he's like right here. Oh, that's convenient. That's easy enough, sure. Yeah, I'll go meet him there. Boulderfall Cave. Discovered. If I get hit by a boulder, I'm going to be very mad, but you know what? I can't blame anyone but myself, because they warned me. Uh, they told me. Just as I suspected. Rigmore's guardian alive and well. All right. You know, wearing uh, necromancer robes really makes you a little suspicious. Ah. <laughs> oh, it just sounds like he had a really, really nice first sip of coffee, and he went, ah, because it was that delectable. I'm trying to find out where she is. I was told you could help me. 
Only my mistress knows where she is. But don't worry, Rigmore is unharmed. Your mistress? What is this, some kind of joke? You'd better start talking or... Or you'll do what? Kill me and you'll never see her again. You see, we have a vested interest, you and I. What the New Order are trying to establish is madness. They are blind fools hoping to restore Tamriel to an ancient time long gone by. But they are very careful. Only the upper echelons of the Order really know what is going on. They have bided their time for decades planning this so-called restoration. Once I knew they were attempting to construct a portal gate, I informed my mistress. Luckily enough, my work was done, and I had fled before you arrived at Diamond Ridge. So, you were a spy? I serve my mistress as Sefri serves his. Okay, Malisim, what is going on? My mistress knows all, and is in need of your services, Guardian. Before the Entity can enter as a living God-King, it is imperative he is in possession of Scourge. Its power will tame the Daedra, and the new order will be free to cleanse Tamriel as they see fit. Scourge? A scourge is a mace, an ancient relic with the power to banish Daedra into the void. Sethry says they're making. Uh, Sethry says they're looking for it in Markarth. Yes. Officially, it's an archaeological excavation, but. Unofficially, they are looking for the mace. But they are digging in the wrong place. And fortunately for you, they believe you're dead. So tell me, Malison, why do they now want Rigmore alive? Before the entity can enter the realm of mortals, it must transform. But a sacrifice must be made for it to do so. The Nordling girl Rigmore is to be the sacrifice on the altar of restoration, so the entity can enter the mortal realm as a living god king. But, but, oblivion portals can't be opened. Although I guess he hasn't really said, like, oh, it's going to be an oblivion gate, but still. That can't be true. They were trying their hardest to kill us both. At first, yes. They had found another potential replacement for Rigmore. Another child of noble birth. Noble birth? I don't understand. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> okay. Tell me a story. I think I've earned the right to know the truth. Many years ago, a little girl was born in Bruma, the only daughter to a Nord war chief and a school teacher. Nothing unusual there, most would have thought, but this little girl was ever so special. So special, in fact, it would cause the gods to vest their interests in her well-being. Not only for her, but for themselves as well. The New Order has a very powerful master that orchestrates everything. The Daedric Princes only know it as the Entity, but my mistress knows its identity. Alas, I am not at liberty to discuss it further, but a once-in-a-millennia scheme was about to unfold. 
the daughter of Azura. Azura took it upon herself to protect the child, but in doing so would ultimately put herself at risk. The entity's first strike was the whereabouts of the Black Diamond. He entrusted Tum Renen Oh Hughes, no uh -oh. A killer, bandit and thief to travel all of Tamriel searching for them. Anyone who possessed them were tortured as to the location of the vein, then killed, and the diamonds forged into armor. As you probably know by now. The diamonds are linked to the essence of Azura's heart. It was a cynical plot to weaken Azura's power until Chaosius was eventually tracked down and killed by Cassius Varon after they murdered his family, something the entity had not foreseen. I need to use a potion of cure disease after I get out of this conversation. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I remember he gave Rigmore a diamond necklace that belonged to his mother. But it was enough to distract Azura, and the order struck. Ragnar was arrested, and his family kept as hostages. He was extradited to Alinor in chains and executed. They needed him dead. They feared him. But the girl child Rigmore? She has noble blood dating back some 200 years. Tyler Adriath, a brilliant strategist and rising star, was entrusted with the well being of the girl child. All the pieces were in the right place. Ragnar's execution, the child kept under close guard for the sacrifice of noble virgin blood. But Adriath slipped up, and the sentimental Khajiit whisked her away. <laughs> Barandar saved her life. The child was protected by I just diplomatic the basket. unity until she came of age. But after the unpleasant incident at Bruma, they knew she was at large, and no stone was left unturned in the search for her. When Adriath learned of her demise in the mountains, he ordered the Falmor garrison involved in the hunt to bring back the corpse. When they were unable to retrieve it, they were all put to the sword including the wolves. But a replacement was found. A boy, a child of noble birth, and a bounty placed on Rigmore's head. They feared her. They knew she could not be stopped. But as the completion of the portal gate reached its end, the boy child unfortunately perished in an Unforeseen incident. <laughs> Poor kid. The Order are now running out of time, and they need Rigmore alive. Adriath's head was nearing its untimely separation from the rest of his body, unless he came up with a solution. He knew a direct confrontation was futile, and you unfortunately fell for his little scheme. You were the target at Fort High Rock. They knew that you were coming, and without you, Rigmore would crumble. But know this, Guardian. They never accounted for you. This spanner in the works, the fly in the ointment. You have caused some great distress to the point that maniac Adriath was foaming at the mouth in an apoplectic rage. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without Azura's help. But Azura fell into their trap. They found the shrine at Diamond Ridge and with it the Black Diamond Vein. 
they forged for black diamonds to weaken her, then desecrated her shrine. Were Vazura weakened and the portal gate near completion and Rigmore incapacitated, my mistress has been forced to finish what was started all that time ago. So you must bring the mace, Scourge, to my mistress's shrine, and in return she will give you the location of your beloved Rigmore. What choice do I have? None. But if they acquire the mace, a guardian, the entity will be free to unleash its frenzy. Nothing will be able to stop it. Not even the Daedric Princes. I've heard enough. Just tell me where to find the mace. Before he could unleash the great anguish, Merun's Dagon had it taken to a temple carved into the mountain rocks somewhere close to Markarf. But the entrance is not beneath Markarf, as the Order think it is. No, Markarf is beneath the entrance. You will need to climb the rock face until you come to a pass. Follow the stream until you see below you the city. There you will find the entrance. Oh, if you do happen to save the girl, bring her to the college at Winterhold. There are some things she needs to learn about her past. I'll be there, waiting. Whose shrine do I take it to? Who's your mistress? Boethia. Started Scourge. Please tell me I can still take the potion. I think I still have time. Let's see. Potion of... Cure Disease. Let me check. Yeah, alright, I'm fine. Yeah, they give you enough time to, uh, to fix that. They give you enough warnings. If you're like me and you didn't notice that you did get infected the first time around. I almost forgot about this. I almost forgot about this long, long climb. This mountain climb. Climb the rock face to the mountain pass. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, because there's the first flag. I gotta go through here, if I remember correctly. And then on the other side of the wall, there'll be the pathway... Or I could be misremembering entirely, because it has been a hot minute since I last did this. <laughs> Give me a second. Never mind, I'm misremembering it. I don't have to go through there. I think I made that mistake before is why. It got a little bit of a climb. Uh, what I would give for a, a Tomb Raider style climbing thing right now. It'd make my life a lot easier. Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, you know. All the good ones. Oh no, let me up. Let me up the rock. Let me up. My feet are on it. There we go. Much better. Well, at least now we have stairs. Oh, I've never been so happy to see stairs in my life before. I'm one of those people that I don't mind using... You know, just like Skyrim's ridiculous jumping system. And how you can just climb up the side of a mountain. Like, I don't mind doing it, but... I'm not crazy about... Having something where I have to do it. Like a mod that makes you... Rely on that system. Like, because in Skyrim, you don't need to do it at any point. There's no requirement to do it at any point. It's a thing of, you can use it as a shortcut, you can do it... To get around things, but... You're never forced to make use of it. So personally, when I have any mod that has like a forced jumping section, I'm like, Skyrim's jumping is not great. Skyrim was not suited 
for jumping puzzles. And I've played a handful of mods now that have jumping puzzles or ju jumping segments, and I feel like the jump is just too inconsistent and unreliable to kind of force, like, as a gameplay feature in mods. But hey, it's why no one else is coming up this way. It's why I'm the only person here, because no one else is gonna bother jumping. You think little Timmy from Marco is gonna bother climbing up this? No. Little Timmy saw three flags, got up to the third one, and got scared and ran away. Can I recharge this at all? Do I have any soul gems? I have no soul gems. Damn. Alright, I know what I gotta start collecting. At least I did get potions before I came up here. At least I got potions off screen, so... We're set for this, at least. Oh, I might need to use them soon. Wait. Okay. Oof. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But I don't need a potion to take this guy on. Just watch. Just watch. Because he's going to come for me. That's right. You come over here. I need an angle on him. I need a better angle on him. Oh, this is even better. And I'll slide off. Yeah, there he goes. I don't know if that fall damage was enough to kill him. Oh, he's, he's still going. He's still going. Ooh. All right. Not too shabby.